I'm here with Palmer Lucky, who's the founder of Oculus VR, and you're making something which I think is so cool. This is a headset for virtual reality games. Exactly. You put it on and you can hook it into a compatible game and it's like you're, you feel like you're inside of the game rather than looking at it on a screen. And so when I turn my head, the world turns with me? It, exactly. It turns it in response to whatever turn you've made. So if you turn exactly 90 degrees, the game world also counter-rotates that 20 degrees. Um, it moves the camera around inside the game like your head is moving in real life. So um, to you, it seems like you know, you're looking around inside of a virtual space. Is nausea a problem? Because I've tried one of these a long time ago and I honestly, I got a little... Mm. So there's a wide variety of things that can cause simulator sickness, like latency, basically lag in the system, or imprecise motion tracking, or not reflecting translation through the environment. And those are all things we've been working on really heavily, and we have some internal prototypes that and nobody has any issues with. But it's always going to be content development or content dependent. There's a lot of things that happen in video games today right. that would not be possible for a person to do in real life without getting sick either. So you've got to balance that. And now this is originally, uh, when is your product launch? Oh, we don't have anything officially announced yet. Okay, but it's not out yet. You've raised right, right now. We're right. So we raised two point four million dollars on Kickstarter. We did a Series A for sixteen million, and we've sold about forty-five thousand developer kits. And well, the well. developer kits go to people who are developing games or game engines for this sort of thing. Both. We have partnerships with a lot of different game engine uh, developers and also game developers. So. Um, we shipped them all over the place. But originally, or, or has this not been decided yet, this is going to be for the PC, or is it going to be for the new Xbox One, for the PS4, or is it going to be for all of them? It's going to be for PC and mobile. It's not up to us if it gets to be on the consoles. To do that, they would have to approve it as a peripheral, and the game developers could support it. There's no technical reason it wouldn't work, but you know, it's, we don't get to make that decision. So for mobile, you mean I literally could plug this into my iPhone? and Into iPhone a phone game. or a tablet, and then run wow. that you know, without having to have any kind of computer hooked up to it. And in the long run, it's all going to be mobile hardware running on the headset. Not for our first consumer product, probably not even the second, but someday in the future, it's going to all run on the headset. So Palmer, right before we started this interview, you told me that you were studying, of all things, journalism um, at Cal State. And uh, you decided, how did you get from journalism to doing this? I've always been doing this kind of stuff. So I started the company in 2012, but I've actually been working on it uh, since I was like 15. Uh, so I've been working with virtual reality and all kinds of different hardware and PC gaming in general. And I was doing journalism because I was really interested in journalism and wanted to be a tech journalist that understood how the technology worked rather than just someone who parroted what they thought they understood about the technology. And then the opportunity and that's what journalists up. generally do. We parrot what we think we understand about things we don't know. I don't want to criticize anyone, but I was hoping to be no, a... That's been my career path, man. That's what I do. Well, you know, some people do a good job of that too, but I, I thought that there was a place for someone who understood engineering to pursue journalism, and I felt like I knew enough about engineering to pursue journalism, um, and maybe not enough, you know, maybe knew enough about engineering to not need to pursue engineering. Um, and then an opportunity came up, and it looked like I was going to be able to do this not just as a hobby, but as you know, a real thing, and so I dropped out of school. That's great. So we only have a couple seconds left here. So in five years, are you still going to be doing this? Are there going to be headsets in every pot? Where, where, where are we going to be? I don't know if there are, everyone will have a headset, but it's what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be doing it until it happens or I die. Now, last question, Palmer. What's your favorite video game? Chrono Trigger, my yeah. favorite game.